In Tube Watch news, Skybox is releasing a new set of Simpsons cards. There'll be 100 cards in the set, and they're slated for this January. There'll be new artwork in the cards and panels from the Simpsons comic book, which include the Simpsons title, Itchy and Scratchy, Radioactive Man, and Bart Man. The comics are published by Bongo Comics. Frankenstein the movie may be a real deal with Kenneth Brownell as the mad scientist and Robert De Niro as the monster. You looking at me? Rumor has it that the Zucker brothers, famous for the airplane movies, are doing a comedy version of Frankenstein called Frank. But if you can't wait for that, check out Nemesis. Nemesis is an imprint of Harvey Comics, and they will be releasing a Frankenstein comic book also called Frank. The Youngblood animated series is slated for 94. The animation will be more realistic and less like the animation in the Batman cartoon. And if you're a fan of the Batman animated series, you might want to check out this one-shot special from DC. It's called Batman Mad Love, which is an origin story about Harley Quinn, the Joker's sidekick from the animated series. It's brought to you by Bruce Timm and Paul Dini, who is the producer on Batman the Animated Series. During Comic Fest 93, Tony got the chance to hang out with some really cool guys. The group over at Milestone, here's what they had to say. Here with uh, Mike Davis, one of the men behind Milestone Media, one of the founding uh, fathers of Milestone. Mike, uh, tell us a little bit about Milestone and the kind of comics it puts out. Hello. We, um, we started, Milestone started as a company three years ago um, when myself, Michael Davis, Dennis Cowan, uh, Dwayne McDuffie, and Derek Dingle got together and decided that we wanted to uh, publish our own comic books. Uh, we have four titles on the stands now. Uh, hardware, Static, Blood Syndicate, and Icon. Um, in the fall, we're launching two new titles, Zombie and Shadow Cabinet. But before we launch those two new titles, we have a crossover coming up called The Shadow War, which crosses over all our books and makes them one with each other so we can introduce these new characters. A zombie about a hero who can't die and Shadow Cabinet, our first team book. Uh, both of those are going to have special zero issues in November and both of them are going to be printed on a new uh, glossy paper that greatly enhances our special color process. We're very proud of it. Are there any other uh, Milestone products, cards, and what related stuff uh, that the fans might not know about? Well, uh, in July, we had our first set of Skybox trading cards, which uh, are sold out on the wholesale level, but you can still get retail. Uh, we're working on Milestone 2 uh, trading cards. We're starting posters next year. Uh, Mobius is going to be doing six posters for us. Yeah. Were some of the characters that you guys created based after uh, people in the company? Maybe. So. Maybe a few of the characters have... Uh, some qualities of some of the partners. I'm not going to say who. Oh, come on. Okay, the way hardware is built, that's me, all right, with the armor. Um, each of the partners, when we all sat together many nights at McDonald's and various restaurants coming up with the universe, put a bit of ourselves in a variety of different characters and aspects. I will give you a bit of information. Static family. Um, Static's mother's name is Jean, and his father's name is Robert. And it just so happens that my mother's name is Jean, and my father's name is Robert. And Static has a sister named Sharon. It just so happens that I have a sister named Sharon. So, but I have a slight idea how that happened. What were some of the titles you worked on before coming to Milestone? Let's see, Damage Control, Deathlock, uh, Spider-Man, Back to the Future, Ultraman, a uh, bunch of stuff. Been around a while. Are you going to continue to work on titles like that uh, while working at Milestone, or you just don't have the time? No, nah, I'm just, I'm too busy. I mean, I love all that stuff, but uh, these are my babies, so this is what I'm going to be working on for the foreseeable future. Milestone is owned by four individuals, Derek Dingle, Dwayne McDuffie, Dennis Cowan, and myself. DC, all-time Warner, owns no stock or equity in our company. What we have is a really great partnership with these guys. They have, we have licensed the rights to the Dakota universe to them for an X amount of period of time in which time they distribute and print and license our characters for publishing and cards and all the rest of that stuff. All the characters are owned by Milestone Media. All the characters are trademarked by Milestone Media. The publishing rights at this point belong to DC. And what that has done is given us rack space right alongside Superman and Batman. And you could do a lot worse than being alongside Superman and Batman. Because Batman back old bro, so he's not like taking a lot of rack space as it is. Is there any uh, cartoons or movies in the works? Yes, there are. We can't talk about them yet. So. Oh, come on. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, and things have been great. As you can see from 
Everybody in the convention, they're not here to see anybody else. They're all online to see us. I don't know, Image, we got three people there, and they're McFarlane and Lee, and like some other guy. Well, you're very humble, Mike. Thanks for talking with us. Hey, Comics Book Show will be right back, Bob. Comics in Princeton and New Brunswick. Welcome to another edition of Hulk Counter Hulk. The news program that addresses both sides of the issue. As always, my guests are the Smart Hulk. Morning, Nolan. And the original Hulk. The Smart Hulk, talk to me. Tell me, what is your opinion on the abortion issue? Well, as you know, Nolan, I have very strong opinions about this issue. I was raised to believe that life begins at conception. It is clear to me that abortion is murder. And with the myriad of contraceptives that are available to the public, I don't understand why we still condone this act of fetal violence. Well, here's another thought. How would you respond to that? Hope not like what you say. Hope support right of women to choose. Hope. Support Roe versus Wade. Judges try to overturn. Make Hulk mad. And, and the better Hulk gets the stronger Hulk gets. For a transcript of Hulk Counter Hulk, send three dollars to TCBS Transcript, P.O. Box one zero zero three five, Philadelphia, PA one nine one zero eight. Today's lucky letter comes from George Ross, who writes us: Dear TCBS, I was flipping through the channels and caught your show last Saturday. It is about time there was something on the tube for comic book fans and collectors. I was also relieved to see it treated with a more interesting slant rather than something that only young kids are interested in. One last thing, when is the Fantastic Four movie set for release? Well, the Fantastic Four movie has once again been pushed back from December 31st to its new date, January 21st. What does George win? George wins a very special comic book. It's Comics Greatest World Month One Trade Paperback, a $25 value. Also, we're going to send him the Defiant Genesis from Comic Fest. We have a few extra of them. And three signed issues of Mortarman. If you would like to win a whole bunch of free comics, send your letters to TCBS Letters, P.O. Box 10035, Philadelphia, PA, 19108. Please include your name, address, age, and the kind of stuff you'd like to get. single week uh, starting December and they will be really cool prizes and the grand prize winner will be announced December 25th and they will get a big huge prize so send us your videotapes and that's it this week for the comic book show tune in next week we're going to review the X-Men cartoon and we'll be talking to Evan Dorkin from Milk and Cheese mmm and all kinds of neat stuff see you next week bye bye anyway Enterprise.
Enterprises is the exclusive supplier of comic book preservation supplies to the comic book show. Ask for their products by name. And remember, when you go to your local comic store, say you saw it on the comic book show.